Good morning once again on this Resurrection Sunday with our Lord and Savior, Jesus the Christ. Uh, we're going to dive right into the Lost Book of Adam and Eve, chapter 14. Very short chapter, but um, pretty much continues off from chapter 13. Let's get a quick prayer and we'll go forward from there. Merciful, kind, just, faithful, awesome, heavenly, holy Father, we just thank you for another day of life. We thank you for waking each and every one of us this morning, allowing us to be still in the land of the living. We thank you for making it pass another week in the start of a new week on this Sunday, which is your day, Father. The first day of the week, Father, even though many think it's Monday, but it's actually Sunday, Father. Father, be with each and every person that's going to rest up today. Be with each and every believer worldwide. Father, those that's going through persecution, physical, mental, emotional, those who are not, Father. Be with those that's rich and those who are poor, Father. Let the rich believers, Father, never, never forget about the poor believers, Father. Let us all be givers to one another, Father. Father, I pray you bless each and every person that goes out to service today, Father. Uh, those that sincere that really want to do your will, Father, pray, I pray you bring each and every one of them out of falsehood, Father, and bring them into the truth, Father, in your way, Father, because you said there is only one way to you, because you said I am the way, the truth, and the light. Anyone that comes to me, Father, will be saved, Father. There's only one way, there's only one church, there's only one teaching, Father, which is in your word. And I pray for everyone that's sincere, that's being taught falsely, Father, will come out of falsehood into your truth. I pray for everyone, Father, that's going through mental, emotional, physical, spiritual illness, Father, that you are comfort, console, Father, and heal, Father. Sing your angel, Father, to, to encourage, protect, and guide each and every one of us, Father. Father, I pray for all the children, because the children are the future, Father, that the children will be brought up in truth and righteousness, Father. And I pray, Father, that you will bless them, Father. And I pray, Father, that you will heal them, Father, heal their minds for all this sickness and evil that's going on with, with them today in the world, Father. I pray for peace in the Middle East, Father. But we know, Father, the scripture teach that there will be a new Jerusalem, just like there will be a new heaven, Father. We know that the, the people that's grafted in, Father, the people that's in the spirit and those that's saved in the natural are already, Father, saved, Father. You said 144,000, Father, will be saved, Father, which are which are, which are the Jews that are the, the virgins, Father. And I pray for everybody else, Father, that's the Gentiles, Father, that's going to be grafted in, Father, that no one will be lost and, and, and set aside by the wayside, Father. That each and every one of us that are struggling in our faith, Father, will hang on, Father, and pull up, Father, and endure and persevere to the very end, Father. I pray for any anyone, Father, any believer that lost a loved one, Father, whether a family member, a friend, a co-worker, Father, that's going through any grief at this time, Father. Please, Father, bless them, Father. Encourage them, Father, and comfort them, Father. I pray, Father, that you'll let us have a great day, Father, because we know every day above ground is a great day, but let us continue to run with the race of perseverance marked out for each and every one of us. And I pray that we'll all complete our race and that, Father, that we'll all stand before you, Father, that you will forgive us for any sins we have committed, whether the heart, the mind, or the body. But, Father, at the end of the day, when we all transition and stand before you, I pray, Father, that you are pleased, Father, and please overlook the stuff that we did in this room. So, Lord, we thank you. We give you glory. We give you honor and we give you praise. Bless this word as we go forth in the lost book of the first book from the lost book of Adam and Eve, chapter 14. In Jesus' name, amen, amen, amen. All right. Then Adam and Eve wept in sorrow by the reason. Oh, can't. I want y'all to be able to see this since I didn't get the book yet. Reason of God's word to them. That they shall not return to the garden and to the fulfillment of the days decreed upon them, but mostly because God has told them that he should suffer for their salvation. So that's pretty much deep, y'all, is that the father said he's going to suffer in order for Adam and Eve to be truly saved. This is at the point, as, as we, if you do, for all of you who have been following, that they're not in the garden no more. They're in the cave of treasures and everything. And then the father made a, a promise to Adam on how he's going to save them. How he's going to come down as the man 
the Lord and Savior, Jesus the Christ, and save them from their sins, Father. So, um, with that being said, this is not a conclusion of the lost book, Father, of Adam and Eve, chapter 1, I mean, chapter 14. Uh, uh, I pray this word been a blessing to each and every one of you, Father. And may you add a blessing to the reading of your holy word. In Jesus' name. Oh, so saints have a great day. Is I'm in NYC. It's it's chilly, but the sun is out. The sun is out. It's shining and everything. And um, continue to march, Father. I mean, continue, excuse me. Continue to march, saints. Continue to persevere. Continue to just do your thing. And regardless, don't ever put yourself down. You got the world. You got other things around you, people around you, you know, to put you down. Never put yourself down. Always big yourself up. As my boy Talib said, you know, yesterday's failures is today's accomplishments. So be encouraged, saints. More content, more videos coming soon. Have a blessed one. In Jesus' name. Peace.